This guy flew 1,500 feet across a gorge with a rocket belt. What the fact? The facts and knowledge on jetpacks. Mindblow 16 brought us a new jetpack that can fly for half an hour. The Martin jetpack, however, is actually classified as an experimental ultralight airplane because it doesn't have wearable jets. Jetpack development started in Germany with the Himmelstürmer. While never put into practice, it was designed to allow soldiers to jump over minefields. In 1958, the US created the Jump Belt, which led to Wendell Moore's Rocket Belt in 1960. With a flight time around 20 seconds, the Bell Aerospace Rocket Belt produces high pressure steam, channeled through two insulated tubes, and requires a heat resistant flight suit. Unless you're James Bond. Then in 1969, they developed the Jet Belt, which flew for several minutes. And its turbofan engine is still considered one of the most impressive small gas turbine jet engines ever produced. Fast forward to the GoFast Jetpack. It can fly for about 30 seconds and set a world speed record in 2009, when Eric Scott went 68 miles per hour. And now some non-jetpack ways to fly. Flying platforms were developed in 1952 and originally based on the concept of flying shoes. Hiller Helicopters created the ducted fan vertical takeoff platform, which was controlled by the pilot leaning in a desired direction. The Williams Aerial Space Platform, or WASP, was also controlled by the pilot leaning and could fly for about 45 minutes. It went up to 60 miles per hour and looked like something straight out of G.I. Joe. And then there's Rossi's wings. The Jetman has a wingsuit with four jet engines that averages 125 miles per hour. But he can't take off from the ground, so he needs to step out of an airplane first. In 2008, an Oregon man took a lawn chair, 150 helium balloons, and a BB gun and flew over 200 miles. The trip was inspired by Lawn Chair Larry, who flew over Los Angeles in 1982. Finally, this water jetpack was featured in Mindblow 14. It uses water pressure from a small boat connected through a hose to allow you to fly up to 30 feet above the water. And it looks like you're playing a real life Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna leave you with this famous flying daredevil. What was his name? Before we go, here's last week's winner. And as always, thanks for watching.